and what is up welcome back to the channel um if you're new here consider subscribing but you know first watch the video and if you're back in here hit that thumbs up so i was thinking about a couple of things and i really thought hey let me rant on this a little bit today and what that is is essentially states right i've, I've spoke about this before but the one thing that sort of came to my mind was the fact that a lot of the states that people are in right now have sort of been practiced you know say for instance and i'm just gonna like i said i'm just gonna ramble on today i just i have the idea but i thought i just want to go off on this so i was thinking that you know when you're younger or whenever maybe there's a certain event that happens to you like a traumatic event or something that puts you into a certain state and you're in that state for the day which is normal obviously if something happens to you you're gonna have a certain reaction to that and so basically you're in it for that day and then the day ends and then the next day you wake up and you're still in that state and then a week goes by and you're still in that state you're going on about your day and everything but there's this under layer of that state that you just you're keeping it with you sort of the remnants you're just keeping it with you you're wearing it like an odor so a week goes by a month goes by three months go by six months a year and you've still been in this state the whole time it's not as prominent as it was the first day it happened but basically it's that layer is there that underlining layer like i said that fragrance is still with you and eventually if it's depending on whatever the state is eventually that just becomes who you are and so this is the weird thing because some people an event will make them depressed or anxious or frustrated or angry and they carry this all the way through all the way through for years and years and years and then oh that's just how i am i get you know me uh, i get frustrated very quickly not realizing that they've been practicing the state for all these years so then later on if it if a moment made you depressed later on what happens is that you're just down and then someone asks you hey what's wrong i don't even know i just feel this way completely forgetting that once upon a time there was this thing that happened and they just stayed with it for years and years and years that now they don't even know what they are depressed about what they're anxious about what they're frustrated angry about sad about they just know that this is just how they are and so what's interesting is when it comes to shifting states which is why it's so important is that you can't just expect to do something so quickly so obviously if you're doing certain types of affirmations and you're doing types of whatever you're trying to do to shift yourself into the state that you want to be it's a good start to get it going right but the problem is is that if you only dip your toe in now and then so in the morning maybe in the afternoon and then the evenings obviously the great time to do anything before bed but these are just certain moments that you're doing this whereas when you originally went into that other state the one that you want to shift from you were practicing this every day minute after minute hour after hour and so that's what you need to that's what people need to realize is that if you want to create the new state which can happen obviously instantaneously but when you want to make it your default state you have to practice it you have to wear it like the fragrance neville goddard actually says that that's where i coined that from um you have to wear it like a fragrance that just it stays with you throughout the day the underlying layer of who you are is this new state that you want to be no matter what happens to you and i think it was dr joe dispenza who says say if everybody is watching a sport or something and 
whatever happens and we all jump up and we celebrate or whatever, you go into that state of celebration. But the one you come back to when you're done doing that, that state there is the one that you want to change to whatever you want to be. That is your default state. The way to do that is to practice it, is to have it for 70% of the day even, 80%. You need to always get back to that state. And a very good way to actually recognize what state you're in is to look at the thoughts you're having. That's something that I realize is that if I'm having, because obviously, no matter how, where you are on this journey, you will always have dipping moments. I don't care if you're a, a guru of 50 years, you will always have moments of dipping where you have to remind yourself and that's just life in general you can't it, that is this game of life it's like this the holy war is that duality within us and we're constantly fighting so basically when you see these thoughts and you go hmm what is this like where is this coming from why am i thinking this oh i see it's the old state it's the one that i've always been used to for years and years and years like it craves to be in the front seat you know it craves to be shouting at people in traffic it craves to be complaining when the line outside the bank is too long it craves to at once that attention because it's had it the whole time but you know you you're killing it now because you, you the old state needs to die for the new one to live and it sounds worse than it is but really that's what has what has to happen because this is where the whole thing you can't serve two masters comes in. You can't serve two states. And so you, you've got to practice it. Practice it like a muscle, just like you did it before. And eventually what happens is that you, be, the state just sort of takes over. And you go, wow, this is actually incredible. I just had maybe something bad happen to me, right? And I, I shrugged it off, whatever. And now instead of walking around with the anxiety or the frustration or depression or sadness, I'm back in that state that I want to be in naturally. And that's what you want. And that to me is where most of your manifestations will happen. Is when you're walking in the state of the wish fulfilled, of that desire. And that's where the power lies because it's very hard to... And I'll end it with this story. Dr. Joseph Murphy spoke about this in a lecture where he's uh, the master, the key to wealth. Uh, um, the master key to wealth. And he was saying that there's two guys and they go to Utah for the gold rush. And everybody's going there to, to find gold. And the one guy is actually a mineralogist or geologist or something. And the other guy is just a farmer. And what happens is that they both go there. And the mineralogist is looking and they're walking on the exact same land. And the other guy is just, I think it was a dairy farmer. And the mineralogist can't find a thing. You know, and he has all this knowledge on everything. The farmer hits a, a vein of gold and rich forever, you know, generations of wealth and wealth. So it's like two human beings. One actually has more of the intelligence, if you will, than the other one. But yet the one finds and one doesn't, you know, and it all comes down to the mind, comes down to that state. The one was in a state of the wish fulfilled of finding something, whereas the other one most likely let the logic and intelligence get in the way of the goal. So that's just what I wanted to say today. I find it very interesting that you've got to practice it. You've got to make it a conscious thing to do it because otherwise those old patterns will show their self show themselves rather. But anyways, that's just going to be the video. If you liked it, give it a like and share it with someone who might need to hear this. As always, um, we want to push it forward. We want to get this knowledge out there. And if you like these types of videos, if you like this type of content, uh, subscribe. 
some of my old videos will be up over there over there and hit this button right over here to subscribe and i'm out peace